words, son. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Devon. Real quick, man. So I could tell by, I, oh god, I could tell by uh, we're gonna one take this. I'm not starting over. So this is real life. Let's roll it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so as y'all can tell by the title of the video, we're gonna see, we're gonna actually analyze True Step here that. EA has continuously tried to preach to us about True Step and all this other crap about how, you know, oh, the player movement, this player movement, that, and actual True Step, and yada, 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 yada. So what I want you to do here is, matter of fact, I want to run this at speed here, and let me reset it because I moved the ball. So hold on, let me, let me, all right, so let me start it over. All right, we're going to run it at speed here, and then we're going to break it down. Simple enough, right? Now let's slow it down. Now let, let's let's go back. So let's look at first the line. Now let's look at the line here. And every time I play this game, I get like I get a signal of chills that go down my spine every time. Because look at the line. Like pay attention to how how the pocket forms and how I'm able to. You know, you got two bronze guys here. And I, I also want y'all to understand something too. There's a such thing as insta shades. There is a consistent struggle on the line. Now look. Now look at my look at my tackle here. Look at him. He's doing. I mean, a guard. He's doing a great job. He's was. He has his eye on him. He's stepping back. He's making sure he's keeping him contained. Enough time for me to. Enough time for me to eye my target and figure out who I'm gonna throw to. So, and like I said, keep keep this rolling before I throw the ball. Line is beautiful. It's beautiful. If I wanted to step up right here, could have done it. He would have never peeled off so easily. I'm loving it. I'm really loving this so far. So he throws the ball. It's RG3, by the way. He throws the ball. So I'm throwing the ball right. Now, keep in mind, I have maximum passing on. For those who don't know what maximum passing is, maximum passing is basically precision passing. So, like, if I so if I turn it on, I'm able to lead it in front of him. I'm able to put it in front of him, over the shoulder, right shoulder, back shoulder, to his legs, to the ground. I mean, to his left ankle, to the ground, to the right ankle. You know what I'm saying? It's really like precision passing. So, let's keep it moving here. So, I throw it, I throw it like, to the corner of the end zone. Now, this is where, this is where really EA starts to, like, starts to become an entire shit show now notice how when i throw the ball look at where his feet is look, look at where his foot is he stays in bounds the whole time bam foot's down right there that his right foot is down his right foot is down in bounds look at if i can look at it look look, look. crap ah, if i can get it oh, damn it if i can get it look at his foot his foot is down he isn't it's not even out of bounds this is what true step looks like this is what it should be but man is consistently catering to the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? It's sad that we gotta continuously keep going back to All Pro Football 2K8 and keep showing things that all that that All Pro Football and All Pro Football and ESPN 2K5 have done right the first time around. It was a Gen 2 Gen 3 console. Anyway, that's a little rant. We're gonna keep it going. So move a little forward here, and he puts the other foot down. Inbounds. They call it a touchdown. It's all gravy. You understand what I'm saying? But it's just things like this, the, the smallest bit of detail and the and the correct placement of the ball allowed him to literally stay in bounds. And granted, this, this guy isn't a he's not a bronze, a silver, a gold, he's just a regular player. But the fact that he was able to keep his feet in bounds, and for the fact that the game knows where his foot is at and didn't mistakenly call him out of bounds. And you know, and they know that he got two feet in, and they called it a touchdown. It's it's just beautiful. I love that. Every time I play this game, like I said, I get a, it, I get chills because it's it's crazy knowing the fact that knowing the fact that almost what are we in seventeen right now? Like what eight eight nine seven six? However many years ago, this is like get some time back. The fact that this game goes that far back, and it still is being brought into the conversation of a Gen Four game. In Gen 4, I mean PS4 and Xbox One. But for the fact that it's being brought into conversation like this, it really shows that EA needs to step their shit up. One more time in slow motion. Take a step back. Pocket is wonderful. See my guard guard doing it, doing what he's supposed to do. Oh, yeah, and I had to point this out earlier. I probably did, but let me just go back and revisit that. You see him with his eyes on. You see that he sees him coming. So what he decides to do is... He's, oh, snap, he's coming. So let me back up and pick him up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, and then, like I said, the pocket work is lovely. It's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? This isn't a team that's really pass heavy, but for the fact that this guard, which which is basically just a basic player, was able to do something that every other player is supposed to do and, that's, and that he's supposed to block. Going back to the, uh, excuse me, going back to the pass that I threw. 
faded into the corner, and then the coverage broke down. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, the way that the tight end ran, the linebacker just, you know, it's a little warp and shift in there, but we can deal with that. So you see that cornerback that he has too many things worried about for one. So first, his first option was to pick up that wide receiver. Apparently that wasn't his zone, so he left it alone. Then he tries, then you see he tries to go either. He has like a little dilemma right here. He doesn't see that tight end back there. He's focusing on my running back and this wide receiver right here, which these two guys right here are already they're preoccupied already. This guy right here doesn't see him at all. So it, so it's, you know, and I already had the ball out of my hand anyway. So you see him try to go pick him up, but it's too late already. I done faded it all the way to the corner already. Go back to him catching the ball. He catches it. One foot down. Already one foot down. Look at this. This is a shame that EA still hasn't got this down. And we're in 20, we're in 2018. They still haven't gotten this down. They can't even, they, they turned off the ability to challenge plays because of how twisted the logic is because they can't get the feet placement down. There's a warp and a sliding. The man, look at him. Catches it, one foot down, bam, he's in. Second foot come down, bam, he's in. Touchdown. It can't get any better than this, man. I'm telling you, I got more videos like this coming. More videos like this coming, I'm telling you. And I heard, and I suppose I heard that there was a simulation football league that was going on that that's that's involved in all pro football 2K8. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get into more about that. Um, see what they talking about. See if I can get into that. Cause I'll tell you, man, this game right here is light years ahead of Madden 18, man. And if anybody who plays Madden 18 and doesn't and sees these breakdowns, it still it still feels like this game doesn't outshine Madden Madden in these areas. You're an idiot, man. You're, you're falling in line to what Rex is trying to get you to do. He wants you to buy into the BS and then still say that, oh, Madden is a great game. It's just, oh, they, they're still working on things. They've been working on things since 25. Madden, Madden, or Madden 14, if you will. I'm telling you, man, it, it, this game gets no better than this. I'm telling you, man. Great game. Great game, man. But um, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you if this is your first time viewing this video, make sure you do that. Subscribe, man. Turn on your notification bell if you want to know every time I upload. And um, appreciate all the support. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. I got more videos like this coming. It's your boy Jay Devine, and I'm signing out. Peace.